Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Two of them are missing. Alexander and Ruth Watson. Hmm. Family? This is wrong. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. Being courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. Personal experience. <laughs> Don't go there. Feels terrible, doesn't it? Shite off. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Good news. It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone. It's bone. Lovely. Ishmael Law said Watson lost his wife and brother. He surely haunted. Where's the ghost? I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. <laughs> Feels terrible, doesn't it? You done enough sniffing? Hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass? You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You'll not take him head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's bond debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. Might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bag brother. And shite on you, too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre, and I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre, and good riddance to both. God's Acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried, I buried all. Quiet, you. And you can shite off. Taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. It 
It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Haunted. To the point of madness. Ruth and Alexander, maybe? Maybe. But something feels off. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. God's Acre. God's Acre. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate of acting so strange. on for size. Don't just stand there. Spectre heading for that corpse. Ask for help if you need it. I think I see a patella. Lovely.
Three robbers. Yes, but what exactly were they stealing? Ruth Watson. There's another grave beneath it. Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Decoys. To distract wayward spectres. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys may show us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. This way, more of them. Ask for help if you need it. That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. Standing by. Ready and waiting. Demonology. I should have known. What in God's green hell is this? Fight now. Talk later. Make a 
Run for it! Think you could take on a ghost? It's up to no good. Again, huh? Oh, watch it. The harvester switched form. Physical to spectral. They do that. They never learn, do they? Enforcements. It's up to no good. Now the fight's getting interesting. I can handle this on my own. I'm right here. A vicious scourge that despises the living. In these lands, what a surprise indeed. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Old emotions are trapped here. Oh, there, fella. You nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes, but also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. I feel something close. I feel a draft. From the invisible. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... That ritual. The one that brings someone back. That ritual. Yes, that ritual. Unveil yourself. That's not the ritual I'd have used. Spirit and flesh, I summon you! Focus, Red. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. A 
as flesh unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. Is he still in there too? He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Hugging all the fun. To me! Get lost, won't you? Sure are we that the ritual will work? Caleb's work was poor. Your work will be good. Cold feet? No. Not now, not ever. The ritual shall work, and all shall be well. I promise.
hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever shite off. We've been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavours. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me. But he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth died in will. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I'll not judge, no matter how much I want to. Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. The house that burned down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Wards, you're on your own. Wards, think you can fend for yourself? The ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down?
Kai must be nearby. Ruth's heart binds them like a... This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. Right there, you rank rump. Whatever you found, it ain't yours. You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stole your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Puck off and die. I'm in charge here. No. Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Look, go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Her heart! Give it back! Present yourself. I compel it. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Think about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? He tore me in two. I loved Alexander. But I deserved to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I I believed he loved me. I thought I'd married the better brother, but I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. <sighs> and yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. 
worshipped yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue, smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love, but when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But, but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you. I was winning. 